What's up, nerds? I'm Wes in Everboard Gaming, hanging out with my good buddy Kurt. Kurt, how are you doing today? Excellent, thank you. And typically this is Kurt from Smirk and Dagger Games, but it's a little bit different now because it's also Smirk and Laughter. That's true. Yeah, it's our new imprint, and it's all about emotional-centered gameplay, but without all the backstabbing that people are used to from Smirk and Dagger. Awesome. So what are we looking at here? So Before There Were Stars is the most heartwarming storytelling game I think I've ever seen. In it, you're an ancient lore giver of your people, and the whole object is to tell a really cool creation myth of your culture. Uh, so you've got these star pip dice down here, and you roll the night sky to start the game. And now you're looking, scanning the heavens, trying to find a constellation that you might have rolled in the night sky. So here, if I got a six, a one, and a six, I could pull the spider as a keyword into my story. And we all go around the table and we're drawing keywords until we have each two. So let's say I ended up with the spider and the liar. Well, this is a creation myth. So we're going to start chapter one with in the beginning. How did a spider and a liar come together to form all that we know in the universe? And then chapter two, the dawn of civilization. How did we get here? And then a great hero emerges for our people. And finally, end of days. Is it going to be doom and gloom? Is it going to be really hopeful? You decide. No one takes your story off track. You really own the story yourself. Um, there is, of course, scoring in the game, but scoring is secret. So you've got these uh, little star beads. I don't know if you can see them. There are two, three, or four points that you drop into players' bags as they pass them around. The most important point is this last one. As this is all secret scoring, we haven't really heard about like what we love about each other's game, uh, stories. So this is our opportunity to like say, man, when, when you told that story about the goddess who wept and filled the oceans, that was beautiful. I really loved that. But your story about the giant that shared the one eye, and they've kept on warring over, you know, looking in the past and looking in the future. Man, that is an amazing story. Bonus point for you. So everyone ends up getting recognized for a story element that they that they told, and so you have this like really satisfying moment at the end of the game. Where you're like, well, this was cool. I wasn't even sure I was going to like this game, so I'm not a super confident storyteller. But you're rewarding creativity, not who told the funniest joke and not who's the best presenter. You just have to have a cool moment, and that's how you win this game. Interesting. So since you're rewarding your other players, this is obviously very different than like the backstabbing games of the past because yeah. you're actually like helping each other out. And you're like, great job, man. Like, yeah. that, was, that was great. Yeah, it's, it is just satisfying, and it's like warm, and it brings people together. And honestly... It's like so shocking to come from my company, then that's why I had to create an imprint so I could deliver it and people wouldn't say, well, well what the heck is this? So, <laughs> Absolutely. And so now you're each telling a different story kind of simultaneously using the same stars? Uh, uh, same, same stars, but different constellations that you each, each saw from your, your area of the world. Okay. So you're all a unique culture, so someone might play it for comedy. Someone might do a classic myth Somebody might do um, like a death cult. There could be all kinds of things. Um, but uh, my mother's mahjong group did, uh, one of her friends, her first two clues were twins and chest. And she's just like, oh, I'm going for it. And she told this body tale of terrible naughtiness. And I was like sitting here with my mom's like mahjong group like, yep, this is happening. <laughs> that. That is the best story I've heard all week. <laughs> so, Kurt, where can people find this game? Is it, is it available now? It launched right here. So um, in about three to four weeks, it'll be available you know, at all the local retailers as well. Um, and it's, uh, it's 40 bucks, and uh, you can get it at your friend of the local game store, smirkandagger.com, anywhere, really. Awesome. Well, we're going to have a link in the description box down below just in case your game store made the mistake of not picking this one up. <laughs> and while you're down there, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you'll never be bored. I guess maybe we shouldn't do finger guns. We should just, no. like, hug. Oh, hug. Just, yeah. oh. Yeah.